I know this is a very old topic for me to talk about and something a lot of libertarians keep saying. Well, specifically the anarchist kind. The full-blooded one. Anarchists. And I've done some videos myself on it, but these are crap. I'm not going to delete them, however, because they show some little signs of truth. Little shards. I think I'm getting more and more shards of them. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, but... So... Guys, don't vote. Whatever you do, don't do that. You're gonna screw yourself. Because politicians... When they get a buzz, when they get some improvement, when they get some allocations in voting, the corporations feed it and they know this is where the money's at. That's where the various entry come from. And it doesn't matter how good will the politician is, because the politician isn't interested in these various entry and he becomes successful regardless and gets elected. If he isn't doing a sufficient job in bringing in the money, then his ass is gonna get sent straight down. Senate wins by two thirds vote, by the way, which is a big non sequitur. But they do this because they know that it's all about the money. And regardless, that's the way the republic works. And even if the Senate's like, oh, well, we don't really care about the money right now, well, get them elected by two-thirds vote. In the end, whoever this politician happens to be, and I know I'm speaking from an executive standpoint, but that's the most simple one I can think of for me. But eventually, if they're not bringing in the money, they're not bringing in the corporations, then they're not bringing in the blood that runs the state. Well, taxation's the blood, um, you could consider the corporations to be the oxygen. Think about it like an integrated system. All these uh, little things which are very inconvenient, but, or mildly inconvenient sometimes, form together to form something that's much more inconvenient and it even has some things that are beyond inconvenient that bring destruction and chaos that's more than just that's much more extreme than inconvenience an inconvenience is having a period and impossibilities having to die giving birth and the only way this will work is a baby, whatever. But anyway, that's all I gotta say. You vote, you strengthen the republic. If a lot of people don't vote ideologically, then the corporations will have no choice but to play in more fair grounds because their consolidation methodology won't work. They have to practice a different method of gaining uh, wealth. And that would have to be none other than the free market. That's a term that seems kind of faulty, but hey. They just call it the liberated market. Liberated market sounds better than the free market. But oh well. That's all I got to say.